In this video, I'm going to talk you through that how do you manage a many to many relationships, but using a bridge table. All right, take a look at my screen right here. I have the sales table, the products table and the calendar table all linked through a one to many relationship. But I also have a budget table and the budget table looks something like this. We have the year right here. We have the region and we have the budget. And obviously, if you take a look, the region is duplicated. And if we try to connect the region to this particular region to be able to filter the region, this would create a many to many relationship because region is duplicated here. And the region obviously is also duplicated in the sales table, which obviously is not going to be ideal. So what we are going to do is make a bridge table to be able to make a bridge table. Let's just create a new table. You can also do that using power query. But for the moment, I'm using DAX for it. I'm going to start to declare the first variable Call this as sales region. Use the values function of the sales table region column. I will then declare the second variable called the budget region. Use the values function of the budget region column. I will then use the union function to be able to combine the two regions of the budget table and the sales table. But note that at the moment, if I just happen to return this uh, combined function right here, the combined variable right here, this is going to give me duplicates because there may be the same regions in the sales table and in the budgets table. To be able to filter out the duplicates, what I'm going to use is the distinct function. But also, I need to make sure that there are no blanks. So I will use the filter function to go ahead and filter any region which are not equal to a blank. Close the bracket, close the bracket, press enter. And that is my region bridge table. Now I can connect that region off to my region right here, which is a one to many relationship. And I can connect that region off to my region right here, which is also a one to many relationship. And any filters that are coming from here will easily be able to filter the budget table and also the sales table. How awesome is that? Before you go, don't forget to check out my courses on Power BI and also do not forget to subscribe to my email list, which is where I share incredibly awesome videos that I create and a couple of other things around Power BI. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. See you around.